liquid to powder ratio and I'm doing this video because there's a lot of people asking me like can I do this video like everybody want to see me do this video so I'm gonna give y'all the video okay you gonna see the camera jump and these two balls uh, that I put on this paper towel I did those off, not off camera but I did those testing the acrylic sometimes using I'm this is young nails everything on here young nails young nails cover pink that's young nails monomer what up but they monomer move really slow sometimes so I just drop a small tad bit of acetone in the monomer like after I pour it how much I want to use just a small drop just to speed it up just a little bit because it just moves too slow for me okay so I'm gonna go in for a medium bead so as you can see I didn't like take off too much excess liquid there so the bead got stuck like it would be if I put that on a nail it would be just sitting there like it was just not right so this bead you want your acrylic to actually form on your brush kind of so I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna go in for maybe a bigger bead I think yeah so I didn't take off any excess liquid so I have to drag it through the acrylic longer and you see how it formed perfect that's the type of bead that you want but I'll only use beads like that if the nail are long like if I'm doing long or like a long set but other than that like you just work your way down from there actually so that bead will be okay if you just take off the excess dust but I use those personally because I know how to work with them that would be another fine bead but those are kind of runny but those are what I use for a longer like if or if I want to cut down how many beads I'm using I would do like one big bead first and then I just like fill in here and there but that was a bead that you don't want to do that had too much excess on it that means I didn't I didn't put enough liquid in that brush so you do get beads like that and like I mean all the time I still you know I would you would see me like starting a set and I go in the acrylic and it'll be like that this is also what you do not want to do nail will go nowhere you see how when I put it down it's still stuck like that it's not gonna do anything but make your job a little harder and you don't want harder you want smart so I'm gonna show y'all this super runny bead and y'all don't want to put this on the nail like if you ever come across this do not put this on the nail just wipe it off and start over because it's okay you might hear somebody say like oh my nail burn ouch that burn or it's getting hot or something like that because your ratio is off so to cure that you need to um get alcohol spray and spray it on the nail directly on the nail it will stop it immediately but that is something that you do not want to put on somebody's nail but i'm just still playing around with the beads just showing y'all like different things i don't know how many of y'all can really tell like if i'm finna pick up a small bead or a bigger bead all you have to do is just watch how much liquid you put in your brush the more liquid the bigger the bead the less liquid the smaller the bead so I'm just going here just like patting them through just to see if any of them had already like set some of them were set some of them wasn't it just I guess depends like all on the ratio so here I'm going to show y'all like this one was perfect to me like yeah I just love that ball that was my favorite ball so I zoomed in on it but I'm just going through touch touching them to see if any of them got hot I think only two of them got hot that's how I know them two beads were like off. Like I wouldn't have put that on somebody's nail. But this ain't something that you can just learn that you will really have to practice this. But if you want your time duration to like pick up or if you want your foundation to be better than what it is, this is one of the most important parts of the whole, whole entire service. Like if you cannot get this down packed, make sure like put time aside to learn how to do this. Please, 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 please. But to bring the whole video together, I'm going to show y'all my actual three ball method that I use every day on one of my nail tips. So when I place this bead, you could tell like it's not running, like it's a flowing bead, like it's an actual bead. You want to hold the nail downward once you put your acrylic on the nail because you don't want the acrylic to flow back or off the nail to the side. And you're going to see when I'm patting my sides, I'm patting the sides to keep the shape. That's with any shape. I don't care if it was coffin, stiletto, square, oval, round, whatever. You want to always pat the acrylic to the nail. So you won't have to do too much shaping. And for those of you who do shape after you put your acrylic on, please try to shape your nails before you put the acrylic on. I mean, it just make it better because you know what shape you want your acrylic to flow. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so if I was doing coffin, you would want to keep it like flowing as in a coffin. You know, just so you don't have to do it too much filing because too much filing can take up too much time. Like, and you always want to work with better timing. Like, always. I take about an hour and 30 minutes 
and if you watch my previous videos you can see we talk about time and all that extra stuff especially in the q a so i'm about to go in with my cuticle bead and going in with your cuticle bead you want to make sure that your cuticle bead is kind of small but not small enough to where it don't fit around the whole cuticle of the nail that you're doing or however wide the nail is that you're doing and your cuticle bead you want to make sure it's more flush like not flush flush like more natural looking like you want the whole nail to look natural you don't want no thick ass nail you don't want no thin ass nail because thin nails are going to break and too thick of a nail it's just going to be ugly and then it's going to live and it's just ill i am going to do another nail for y'all but when i'm doing a nail i'm just going to like talk over it okay so this i'm giving y'all this video from experience and personal feelings because i know how it feels to be in an industry or trying to come in the industry and you ask another nail tech like oh how do you do this or how do you do that or can you tell me what's the name of this or can you tell me what's that or the best for this or the best for that most of them not gonna tell you most of them not gonna tell you some of them might tell you depending on what it is that you're asking i know i will tell you depending on what you're asking but i will tell you most of the time that everything is really preference in the nail stuff because what might work for me may not work for you but if you do decide to go with like my tips and techniques or how my videos watch my videos and decide to learn from my videos you can send me pictures uh, like instagram me whatever or like progress because i like to see stuff like that because no i had nobody to like oh this is how you do this this and that. everything that i did everything that i bought everything that i taught myself was trial and error like just me sticking to it like not giving up not just giving up but not giving up on myself because I don't know if I always I guess I always been to nails it's been 13 years now but yeah I just I don't know this is the video that I wanted to do it took me a long time to do it because this is something to keep up with because I wasn't thinking of the content when I was doing it I was just thinking of okay let me get this video done let me upload this video just like that but I just want to help where I can where I know that I can where I didn't have help but with this being a very important part of the service, but not just the service, like the industry, the prep, the foundation, everything of that nature, you do want to make sure that you have this at least like somewhat down pat. And saying that meaning like, well, you know what you did wrong. Oh, that ball was too such and such, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to do it like this next time when I go in for my next bead. Stuff like that. I mean, it's just always practice. It's always a place for improvement. I still need to improve. Y'all might not see it, but I see it. I know what I do wrong. I know, I don't really do too much wrong, but, you know, I know what I can improve in. I know what I don't like as far as my own work and stuff like that. But this video is just to help y'all. If y'all decide to go learn off this video, send me pictures, send me videos, you know, whatever. So I can talk about it, post in my next video. But we are about to wrap this video up. Tell me what y'all think. And make sure y'all like and subscribe to my channel.